What's up everyone? Today we're going to go over leak code 1018. First we'll go over the input and output, then we'll look at some basic bit manipulation, and finally we'll go over the code and complexity. The input array is going to be an array of integers with only zeros and ones, and the output is going to be a boolean array. So what we have to do is take the input array and take the binary equivalent number. So let's say if we have 0 and 1, that translates to 1. If we have 0, that translates to 0. If we have 0, 1, 1, that translates to 3. So each of these, we want to know if the number starting from the beginning till that index i is going to be divisible by 5 or not. If it is, we're going to set the boolean in the output array to be true. So for this input, we're going to have true, false, 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 true, false. And we have this because this and this are divisible by 5. How do we go from 0 to 0, 1 and go from 0, 1 to 0, 1, 1? All we do is take our bits and shift them to the left and add 1. Now let's look at what happens for basic bit manipulation when we take our bits and shift them to the left and either add 1 or let the rightmost bit be 0. When we take our original bits and shift them to the left and leave the rightmost bit as 0, we're technically doubling the integer. So if we have 1, 1, which is a binary equivalent of a decimal 3, then if we move that to the left, it becomes 6, and all we're doing is taking 3 and multiplying it by 2. If we take 1, 1 and shift them to the left and put a 1 at the rightmost bit, what we're doing is doing 3 times 2 plus 1, which is 7. So that's going to be the core of the problem and how we're going to build our solution up from the first numbers in the array right until the end. Now, let's see how we use this trick to build the numbers in the code. I just mentioned that when we shift our bits to the left and we have a 0, we double it. <clears throat> and when we shift our bits to the left and we get a 1, we double it and add 1. So that's how we're going to calculate it in our code. Every new number, we're going to check if that's a 1, and we double and add it. Otherwise, we just double it. So what we're going to do is initialize our Boolean result, and first take the number that's in A of 0. If that number is divisible by 5, we're going to add true. Otherwise, we add false. Then we begin iterating, and we do this check. And every time we build it, we are going to see if it's divisible by 5 or not. If it is, we add true to our result, otherwise we add false. And then to make sure that we're not going overflow or anything like that, we just do mod 5 to make our number smaller. The time and space complexity are both going to be O of n because we're iterating through the entire length of the array and we're storing our results in length n. That's how you solve leak code 1018. If you like the video, please thumbs up. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe.